Valve's long rumored home console is finally official. It's called the Steam Machine and it's coming in 2026. You know, the Steam Deck has been out for a couple of years now and a lot of people have been waiting for the Steam Deck 2 to finally be announced. But what I've been more interested in is Valve's growth on Steam OS, the software that they use to run the Steam Deck. The reason that the Steam Deck works under the hood is because they spent a long time developing a software translation layer that allows Windows games to run on Linux, which is what Steam OS is built on. But Steam OS is no longer tied to the Steam Deck. Steam OS is now a thing that you can download for other handhelds. For example, I have it on my ROG Ally X and it's been running great. But I've been wondering for a long time, is Steam OS now at the point where it could hypothetically run a console. A small custom built PC with SteamOS on it is a PC still, but it's also kind of indistinguishable from a console experience like you would get from a PS5 or an Xbox. And it seems like that's what Valve is going for. The Steam Machine is a small cube that runs games and looks and feels a lot like a console based on everything I've seen this morning. The Steam Machine feels to me like the answer to the question that I've always wondered and asked many times on this YouTube channel and podcasts and wherever, which is like, why would you buy a console like an Xbox or a PlayStation when all of their games are now making their way to PC? As exclusivity dwindles, your reason for buying a specific console also dwindles. The primary reason to buy a console has always been ease of use. And trust me, I'm one of those people. I would always rather be playing on a console than a PC because PC is always gonna be a little bit more fiddly and I just, I just never really felt the need to make the leap. They're also generally more expensive and the upkeep and everything about it. Whereas buying a console is like you unbox it, you throw a disc in it and you're good to go. Although the idea of throwing a disc in it also is going out the window. So, but there's always been that mental hurdle that has prevented people from making the leap from console to PC, which I totally understand as a person who also has had a hard time making that leap. But Valve has been working on Steam OS for years and even going all the way back to Steam getting big picture mode, They've really done exceptional work making using Steam feel exactly like using a console. And for that reason, as long as the Steam machine is priced competitively against something like, you know, an Xbox Series X or the PS5 or PS5 Pro, I could see a lot of people making the leap because even if it's a little bit more expensive up front, the amount of money you save on Steam is pretty significant. Not to mention you have your entire back catalog of Steam games. If you're anything like me, which I imagine you are if you're watching this YouTube channel, you probably have an unbelievable amount of games that you've purchased on Steam or gotten through bundles or whatever. The idea that you could buy this thing, throw it under your TV and hypothetically have every single game you've ever bought on Steam immediately playable is first of all, great. But second of all, based on the way they're talking about it on their website, it's also going to be powerful enough to play new AAA stuff. It says on their website that the Steam Machine is six times as powerful as the Steam Deck. And the Steam Deck is already like pretty powerful, you know, for a handheld and for a handheld that's as old as it is, it's pretty powerful. Six times as powerful as the Steam Deck, though, really does put it up in that like current console generation and maybe even a little bit beyond level. Now, it's interesting because a bunch of press people got to like fly out to Valve headquarters and get their hands on this thing and try it out. And in a lot of those interviews, they said something to the effect of like, we didn't really even look at what Xbox and PlayStation were doing. We don't really consider them to be competitors because they think of this thing as a hybrid console and PC. You know, this is a thing that is running Linux, which is an operating system. And hypothetically, you could use it for anything you would want. They are even marketing it as like you could build games with this, but you could also stream stream your games with it if you are, for example, a game streamer. But even if they're not thinking about it from the perspective of like direct competition, they have to know that that's how it will be perceived. And even though we don't have a price yet, I do think that is probably realistically something that they're going to take into consideration. I also think it's worth taking into consideration if you're worried about the price, how cheap the Steam Deck is considering what it's offering. The Steam Deck is a lot cheaper than a lot of the competition. And that's because Valve knows that they're going to make up for a lot of that money on Steam. The more games you buy on Steam, the more of that cut that Valve gets on every single purchase and the faster they make up for the money that they lost on the front end when you bought the Steam Deck at a discounted price. I assume the same will be true of the Steam Machine. I imagine it will be priced very competitively, especially compared to the other consoles on the market right now. Despite being what is technically like a mini PC, <laughs> Every console is kind of just a mini PC at that point. All things are merging with the PC in general. So color me excited about the Steam Machine. This is kind of a thing that I've been dreaming of and hoping for. And honestly, as a person who has a mini PC uh, on my desk right now, I've been considering throwing SteamOS on it and just seeing how it works. So in a lot of ways, 
you could just try this right now. You don't need to wait for the Steam machine to come out. You could just download Steam OS off of their website and throw it on your mini PC and just like try that out for size. Now, I don't know if I would recommend that, but if you're like me and you tinker with stuff all the time, then, you know, it's kind of hard to not try that. Hello, editing Brendan here. Also, I just have to mention Steam OS uh, works currently on the Steam Deck, the Lenovo Legion Go S, the Lenovo Legion Go, the ROG Ally, Ally X, and other AMD powered handhelds. Technically, there is no like desktop version of Steam OS that they have uh, officially released that you can try out. Um, that said, there is Bazite, which is a fork of Steam OS that does have uh, PC support if you wanted to try that. Um, but, you know, do whatever you want. Just don't blame me if you brick your mini PC or whatever. I haven't even mentioned the two other hardware announcements, one of which is the new Frame VR headset, which I'll be honest, I'm not really a VR guy, but there was a really exciting announcement in Adam Savage's YouTube channel, Tested, uh, where they confirmed that Valve has been working on a way to allow Steam games to run natively on Android or, you know, Snapdragon or Qualcomm chips. There's been a lot of exciting stuff happening in the world of running PC games on Android recently. And the idea that Valve is throwing their hat in the ring and like hypothetically, and this is, you know, me just speculating, but like releasing Steam on Android and it working the same way it does on the Steam Deck where you can kind of download any game. And as long as your phone is capable of running it, you can run any game from Steam on your phone. That's ridiculous. That's so cool. And then the other hardware announcement is a new Steam controller, which just looks like a Steam Deck with the screen removed, which I'm all about. It even has the trackpads on it. And I love those trackpads. I'm, I'm stoked about that. I, I wonder if there's going to be a bundle with the two of them where you get the Steam machine and the new controller. I would assume so, but I don't know. Maybe not. Regardless, I'm just like so jazzed about this idea that I couldn't not sit down and make a video. I was literally in the middle of editing another video when all of this stuff happened. And I was like, I, I have to talk. I have to talk about this. I'm really excited about it. So let me know how you're feeling about it in the comments. There are some down sides I do want to mention to the Steam machine. I, I'm not really a specs guy, but even just looking at the specs, I'm like, I think it could use a little bit more RAM than it has in there. And for those of you who know a lot about this stuff and why you wouldn't buy a Steam Deck, you probably know that there are a lot of games, huge video games that won't run on the Steam Deck for like kernel level anti-cheat reasons. And that feels like the kind of thing you really need to solve before you release a Steam Deck. Like if you want to get into the console space and, and compete against Xbox and PlayStation, like not running some of the biggest games on the planet. This seems like a whiff, but all things considered, this is very exciting to me. I'm stoked to see Steam get back into this. The Steam machine is a thing that they tried doing like about a decade ago at this point, and it like totally flopped. And I just feel like the environment is better for a Steam machine now. And it's cool that because the operating system it's running on is completely open source. Again, you could just go to their website, download a Steam OS image and throw it on any PC you have and just like make one for yourself if you don't like what Steam has on offer here. It turns out the thing that makes time travel possible is the flux capacitor. And the thing that makes Valve's entire hardware strategy work is Steam OS, not the actual hardware, but the software that runs on it. It's pretty cool. Anyway, I'm going to get back to uh, editing my video, which is uh, all about this guy, the MCon. Uh, but, you know, stay tuned for that and I'll catch you later, everybody. Bye bye.